All right, guys. So, as promised, uh, I just wanted to take a quick look at um, some of the things that they were giving away uh, at this premiere. Um, honestly, it was just ridiculous. I mean, we saw that they had pretty much given us uh, um, dinner uh, for that evening. Uh, I have, the, I actually still have the ticket over there. Um, I was able to to, to keep one. Um, so I'll bring that back afterwards. But uh, yeah, I mean, they they give us a, a full a half a sandwich, um, cookie, um, chips, and a drink, and two types of dessert. It was it was insane. But uh, I just wanted to take a quick note and just go over some of the things that 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 you see here. Um, uh, obviously, the movie is kind of long, so they, we were on on uh, benches, so they wanted to to make sure we were comfortable. So they actually gave out these um, uh, cushions, but man, these are these are branded cushions. I mean, look at this Star Trek Beyond. Uh, it's got this Starfleet insignia, world premiere in San Diego, July twentieth, twenty sixteen. So, I mean, you know, I had my butt on this for all night. Uh, I'm pretty sure they didn't want to take them back, but you know, even if they wanted to, I probably wouldn't have given it up. Um, so yeah, I mean that that alone was was uh, really really cool. I re really didn't think it was going to get much more than that. But then uh, they ended up at the end of the night after we were leaving, they started handing out these uh, these bags here, and Angel immediately knew what it was. I, I really I really wasn't sure what it was, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a swag bag. Um, so, if you don't know what the swag bag is, basically after, after certain industry parties or, or premieres, they give away these bags, um, you know, and it's for, for promotional pur pur purposes, of course, uh, you know, the people who are in the crowd, usually they're supposed to be well-to-do people and, uh, you know, influen influencers, Not, nobody like me, but, uh, you know, it's still kind of cool, I mean, they've, you know, it's, it's really awesome to, to see what, what uh, they give away during these parties. So um, I'm going to cut away from this, and we're going to lay out everything on the, 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 the bed here so you can kind of see exactly what, what was in the bag. I'm going to do this in a, bit of, a few sections. Um, first, I, I guess uh, I'll go through the apparel that, they, that was in the bag. Um, the first one is this really awesome uh, hat. Uh, it's, it's, an, it's, a non, it's, it's an elastic, it's a Velcro, Velcro style hat, but... You know, it has the Vulcan, uh, you know, ha hand sign uh, that, uh, you know, Spock is uh, known for, oh, the Vulcans are actually known for using. Um, live, long, live, live long and prosper, obviously. Um, it's really orange. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the, <laughs> it's kind of dark in here, but it's really, really orange. Um, but on the back, you can see it's a Velcro strap. And right there it says Star Trek Beyond. And the whole thing's embroidered. Really good quality on this, actually. Well, if I'm honest, it it's a little. I mean, it doesn't feel super great, but I mean, you know, it's it's a giveaway and and it's really cool. Not sure if this would actually fit on my head. Um, it is Velcro, so you know, adjustable, kind of cool. Yeah, but awesome little giveaway, something to to use here in San Diego because don't really have a hat. Um, they have this uh, this pin. The Star Trek pin, and obviously it's the Enterprise. Actually, it's not the Enterprise. Is it the Enterprise? No, you know what? You know what? Come on, can we zoom in there? You know what, guys? I'm going to say that that's not the Enterprise, and you'll find out more about that from the movie, so I'm not going to give any spoilers. But this is, a, this is an awesome pin nonetheless. Um, best if you guys just keep watching uh, the movie uh, when it comes out because this pin is very significant in the movie well the, the ship that the pin is based on is very significant in the movie, very cool so definitely this is uh, um, for the Beyond movie um, came with a lanyard uh, which is awesome uh, it's an IMAX lanyard but it also does say uh, a com it's a commemorative one I think Yeah, it says right here world premiere July 20th 2016, and I believe it does say, yep, it says Beyond, right, really cool, um, now we didn't actually get any badges there, so I'm just going to have to assume that, uh, 
This is a, a, an extra lanyard in case you have a badge or maybe you lost your badge for uh, for the San Diego. And then there's this really awesome t-shirt. Uh, this is silk screen, several different colors. Now, if you know anything about silk screen printing, this is not easy. I mean, it's not like it's not like those iron-on patches that you see. This is full silk screen, multiple colors. I think there are at least four colors in here. I see blue, white, black, red. Okay, three. But this is amazing. I mean, this is the Enterprise. You can see that for sure. NCC 1701. Awesome design. Really cool. And then, you know, to make it even better, on the back, if we flip it over, again, it says Star Trek Beyond World Premiere San Diego, July 20th, 2016. So, really awesome. Yeah. It's, it's amazing that uh, Paramount would just give away all this cool stuff. I mean, it's, it's great. So, you know, th that, that in and of itself is, is awesome. But you think, you know, you have all that. That's great. But you know what? They included a lot more. Like, it's just shocking. So, I go over here and I dig deeper into the bag. And I just find all this. And this is just, this is just insane. So... They they give you. I'll start with I'll start with the back actually. They were advertising this one, which is really exciting to me. I know my brother's gonna love this. It's the Rathacon Director's Cut. It's got a commemorative sleeve. So it's a, these are all Blu-rays, by the way. Uh, if we kind of pop this open, I wonder if I can. Yep. So it's it's the same thing on the inside, but. You know, you have a commemorative sleeve too. Now, this is the American version, so I'm pretty sure there's no there's no French on it. Yeah, this is the director's cut, so it's got about, I think, was it 10 minutes, 20 minutes of uh, additional footage? Now, I'm pretty sure I've seen the additional footage. I mean, there have been so many director's cuts out there, but this is the Blu-ray version, so I'm really excited to be able to see this. Again, Leonard Nimoy... Um, they really did a tribute for him in the movie. I'm not going to make any spoilers, but it was it was really cool. It was a very touching tribute. So that was the first one. Now they have, they include three more. So I'm going to go to this one here, and this is uh, Star Trek Origins on Blu-ray. Now this is from the original series, so I believe uh, just judging by the cover that it shows you the origin of uh, Kirk, Spock. Um, I believe that's Captain Pike. Yeah, I think that's Captain Pike. There's Khan. And I believe that's Kor. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm an idiot. It's right there. Pike, Khan, Kirk, Spock, and Klingons, and the Triblets. The Tribbles, sorry, the Tribbles. Yeah, so basically it's all their, uh, their origin stories, which is just awesome. Remastered, totally Blu-ray. Really awesome stuff. Yeah, these were these were just in the bag. Like they they just gave this stuff away like crazy. These aren't these are they're they're cellophane. Like I assume the DVDs are the Blu-rays are inside. But yeah. So then the next one. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll start from here. So they also gave away the actual uh, the the movies, the the new generation movie, the the uh, the current line of movies. So the first one is Star Trek with uh, Chris Pine. Uh, Zoe Sandala, I'm pretty, I'm screwing that one up, and uh, Zachary Quinto on the cover, and uh, as you can see, it's the 50th anniversary edition. Which, why the hell would you do that on this cellophane? Because you know, it's going to be hell trying to keep that sticker. I don't know, but if you're brave enough to open one of these things, uh, there's a free movie ticket inside to actually watch uh, the the movie we, which we just watched. Now, I'm pretty sure that only works here in in America, so I don't think it's going to really help me in in Canada, but. It is what it is. Yeah, just amazing stuff. I mean, like, you know, the design. I'm pretty sure this has been out for a while now, but still, they're re-releasing them for the new movie, which is always good. And then, you know, if that wasn't enough, they, they actually give you Into Darkness, which, you know, I really enjoyed. I mean, you know, it was a retelling, uh, you know, a re-envisioning of, of uh, the way Khan appeared, which was interesting. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a Benedict Cumberbatch, fa Cumberbatch fan, so, really excited to see him in, um, in Doctor Strange. And 
if you're here in San Diego, like the whole town is just plastered with his face. But yeah, awesome stuff here. No, uh, no perks on this DVD, but oh, sorry, uh, Blu-ray, but still, just awesome. Yeah. So that uh, that was the swag bag, man. Uh, yeah, guys. Oh, uh, and it's a little bit of note, but you know they also included this um, uh, San Diego Trek guide. This is funny, you know. It's kind of cool. You got 50% off on the uh, the Tre Star Trek shop. So celebrating 50 years of Star Trek. Seven of Nine, of course. Brent Spiner, Data, Data. Worf. Can't remember the guy's name again. Captain uh, Captain Archer. Yeah, Captain Archer. And of course, Captain Kirk himself. Oh, there's an art exhibit. Thursday to Sunday. Might have to check that out. Some awesome exclusives. Oh yeah, and um, lots of lots of great lots of crazy things. Yeah, pretty cool. Again, just a small footnote. Nothing, nothing too exciting on that one. But yeah, I mean, like, uh, I don't. I guess I don't know if this is an unboxing or whatever. But this is the first time I've done one of these things. But yeah, I hope. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I enjoyed this. I mean, this this is all really cool. Just freebie stuff, really. And uh, I'm amazed at how much... I mean, like, jeez Louise, that alone... I know this one's just come, about to come out, this uh, this this Wrath of Khan director's cut. So, I mean, like, that must be, like, at least 100 bucks uh, or more. No, definitely more than 100 bucks. Like, in Canada, at least it's almost $200, right? But then the other stuff, I mean, you can't get it anywhere else. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see you guys next time. So I was about to end the video, but you know, I just wanted to take a quick second to uh, to show you some of the stuff that uh, they were giving away. Uh, well, you know, the, what we had to suffer for. To, well, Angel, poor Angel, she had to suffer for all this. I, I went through it for about three hours, but she went through it for another three hours. So anyway, let's uh, let's honor her uh, sacrifice by by taking a look at some of the stuff that that we had to go through. So this is the actual um, wristband which she fought for and uh, suffered for, and this was the ticket into the show. Uh, well, actually, you know what? This was the wristband into the show because this here, which I was able to keep, is the actual ticket. So as you can see here, it was um, presented by IMAX and Vizio. Uh, my camera doesn't want to focus right now. Star Trek Beyond World Premiere. There we go. Embarked. No. I don't even know what that says. Uh, San Diego, California, July 20th, 2016. Yep, general admission. Yeah, we weren't any of the VIPs there. Oh, okay, that's where it was actually held. Marina Park South. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool ticket. Uh, they were ripping all these apart, so uh, I was able to actually get one in because uh, in the video you know, you'll you'll see that I was actually kicked out for having a camera. And this was the um, the actual uh, instructions uh, on where to go and and how to get there once you won the ticket, uh, the wristband. Sorry. I showed this earlier, I think. Now when we got into the park. Uh, the actual venue. Yeah, they, they had these awesome wristbands, and we didn't even know what they were for. I thought it was security, but ends up that they were uh, interactive lights, which were, um, I guess, Bluetooth enabled, and they reacted to the music that was being played by the orchestra. So I know it's a little hard to see, but you can see that they're changing colors. Like, that's green, that's, um, that's purple. I know, it's, again, it's hard to see. That's a kind of greenish yellow. That's another shade of purple. That's a blue. That's green. That's a teal. There's red. A different shade of red. And then, luckily it turns off, because honestly, I, I was worried it wasn't going to turn off. So yeah, I got that doohickey. Which again, was really cool. And then, like I said, they fed us, so I was able to keep the um, the, the actual coupon itself. Uh, there was only one per person, so still, 
This is proof positive that they actually fed us. Look at this. Exchange this coupon for one free meal box tonight only. Came with a turkey club sandwich, a tur uh, Subway turkey sandwich, chips, and cookie. Crazy. Yeah, Paramount went all out with this. Yeah, I just thought I'd, uh, I'd take a quick look at that because obviously Angel really went through hell for this. So, you know, kudos to Angel. She did an amazing job and, uh, you know, went through the heat, you know, suffered for it, but she was obsessed. All right, guys. Again, talk to you soon. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many people just don't uh, listen to the instructions of the police officers. It's pretty bad. Dude, your so this is our first look at Comic Con, guys. 